I had a lot of people kind of joking with me this week in practice, like, you're gonna shoot another 17. It's fun to, to remember that good of a round and, and it's a nice confidence builder to know that I can execute, you know, every shot out here. Putter was bad today. I couldn't really make any of those circles edge putts. I think I had a putt for birdie on every single hole except for hole five or six. Clearly decent round, you're tied for the lead. Anything different that you're gonna do tomorrow? Uh, I'm gonna putt better. I was hoping to get to double digits, to nine, 10. I'm, I'm happy with the nine and obviously nowhere near 17, but I got a couple more tries. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to round two front nine action here in Jonesboro, Arkansas for the Play It Again Sports Jonesboro Open. We are here for the fifth stop in the Disc Golf Pro Tour, and it is moving day Saturday, Paul. It is. And the conditions have gotten a little tougher, but yeah. these guys are so good, man. We're going to see all kinds of different scores. What is the wind to these guys? It's not. It's not much when you can throw it as far as these guys have learned mm -hmm. how to throw it over the past few years i mean anthony barilla is is that guy right he he's is the a putt on every hole yeah well he's he's that he's the mark right now for who's playing the best and he's doing it with far shots and obviously decent putting yeah good enough it looks bad when you have eight 17 putts <laughs> yeah. and you miss a couple but yeah here's the story right here kevin Kiefer coming back from a devastating knee injury last year and he is on league card incredible to see him with 11 under set the stage yesterday kind of set the yeah. mark actually letting people know what was possible on this course james conrad he let everyone know what the mark is on this course last year obviously you heard it in the intro 17 under everyone wants to see him do it again if he does it in today's wind go ahead and cancel disc golf because he broke it and ricky wysocki a fixture here at Jonesboro in the past. He's always in the mix. It doesn't matter what type of course it is. It just guts out yeah. great performances. Always. Adaptation with his game, for mm -hmm. sure. There ain't nowhere that can hide from Ricky Wysocki. Hole one, this one could. This is a tough one. Par three, 520 down the hill. Clear this little OB line, which is going to be a feat today. Straight headwind. It's I, flipped. Yeah, yeah, it's complete opposite wind. It really is. And playing a lot. It, the course is playing a lot tougher today. He's got a little two-piece lined up. Is that for real? Yeah, it was actually a decent wind for the forehand um, if you have the power that he has. Just to the backhand, you get a little bit scared about turning it over and just going right out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. But he just puts power on it. So, I mean, that is... That is... <laughs> Boy, I nearly quit. Next, that is so good to get that far. Once again, it's just awesome to see Kevin here on this stage playing great disc golf this season. This isn't the only time that he's had good rounds this season. He's actually off to a really nice start in the 2024 campaign. And this is a good looking shape. It's just going to hyzer out a little early, which means it's going to be a tricky 50 footer. Yeah, not bad. From Blacksburg, Virginia, James Conrad. Fan favorite out here after his performance last year. not gonna turn i worry about that spot over there for him because he do, he doesn't throw a lot of the, yeah of the sidearm rollers and the sidearms yeah it's a tricky scramble position from scottsdale arizona a three-time is that true yeah three-timer i didn't know that but uh, i'm not surprised in the least ricky's a three-time jones why do I, I should know this? He's, He's just a three-time yeah, champion everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, pretty much <laughs> all like, the Oh, no. This is heading right, and I don't think it's going to cross. I don't think it's even close. Need some help. And just a misjudged shot there with the wind. Didn't look like he put his full power into that either. 
And this is just a huge penalty. It's, it's not only far away, but you actually have to beat a couple of trees. Yeah, it makes it look so easy. Yeah. Though. Okay. So he, he had, had a, a, good he had a wide yeah. open gap. Okay. Look at this. Looks like he's eyeing high left. Oh, or never mind. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's tough. Branches in the way. Yeah, it's just you don't want to be pin high left. That's just never a good place to be on this hole unless you have a tilt. Shout out, Casey. Ooh, and Kiefer is going with the sneaky route inside. Don't love it, but gets it, the skip. It, love it now. Just so easy to early it yeah. or pull it a little. It's icky. You don't yeah. want to be over yeah. there. Elevated bit. basket from yeah. 40 feet. Yeah, a little bit more of the same from yesterday. Said he was missing low, wanted to fix it. That's not a – I wouldn't call that a problem. No, to miss that no, putt, no, no. that's a tough putt to hit. That's more of a problem. you got to not take the bogey if you stay inbounds off the tee on one. Oh, yeah. But it's understandable when you're pin high left. It's it is tricky over there. Without a sidearm, like that's Correct. a lot easier of a shot with a high sidearm. Yeah, you can side just kind of stall one over yep. the top and just play plinko. He was pretty close though. Twenty five footer, got to make that. So Ricky with the bogey. Is this the hardest hole in the course? Um, you know that's a great. I feel like the question. Heck. It's not. But oh, it's the second uh, yeah. hardest, but it's very close. And I think you know what the hardest yeah. hole in the course is. I'm going to take a little look. Way up the course, Gannon Burr, who's 11 under. He's on hole 15 now. Oh, no. And he just squeaks in bounds. This is on 12th card. And after getting the eagle on 14, he gets the birdie with a nice putt on 15. And that brings him to 12 under. Can't keep Gannon Bird down for too long. And Heimberg on chase card going with a little bit late turn with his eagle. That's going to leave him short, obstructed. Ooh, how do you get this one in there going over, over and through, through, over, catch oh, it, catch left it. left side. Wow. Great job on the baskets part to hold that one in there. But also a nice birdie as well. Ugh. You icky. Just total ickster. <laughs> oh, look at who's up there at the top of the leaderboard. Is that though. another player named Jay Coling on tour or is that me? That's you, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, up the hole. We just saw how you hold play it. Hold on a second. <laughs> Guys, I, I just – the Patreon winner – Oh, yeah. Rob Roland, congratulations, buddy. This is a friend of mine from Japan. You have won our practice round giveaway disc. You got the three pack, buddy. Congratulations to win. you. Yeah. Sorry. I just had oh, to. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Absolutely interrupt me for that, for sure. These guys know what to do. They just saw Calvin do it. That's going to be deep left seat. <laughs> I explained this yesterday. If you don't get your disc on Anheuser on this hole, yeah. it is going to be a tall feat to get it close. Right. It, it, either the Annie or you're just got to throw it straight at the left side of these trees. Oh, there you go. So, Oh, but but this one's diving. Too left, much? But still better. That's where, where Calvin was. That's exactly where Calvin was. You can play the Heiser, but you got to flirt with all those little limmies. Nah. Just inside circle two. Ricky. Mm, okay. Come on. Get up the hill. It's not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good shot. Oh, oh, great effort. That looked good for so long until it just barely wasn't good. And he farther than... He must have gone out of turn because this is deep. Courtesy violation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
already putting a little weight on that that knee. Yep. Uh, that tough, tough putt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got to go over like Calvin did to get the height. Otherwise, it looks like gotta, he was a little bit farther away from those trees yeah. from Calvin. You're going to have to have like that uh, Gannon spin. Ricky delivers it in there. Ricky Gannon, even AB sometimes. AB can get, send it. Eagle McMahon. Yeah. He's a yeah, sender. Yeah. There's a, quite a few guys that like to zip them in there. This guy just goes belly flopping. Ezra Aderhold, full on <laughs> zipper. Yeah, but from that stance, I don't know if he's got that. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe know? not. Yep. I, I see what you're saying. Papa Nate Sexton with oh, a dart. The darties. A little, little zipster. A good birdie there for Ricky. I, I approach those putts with full intent to make them, and they always come wobbling and not even close to getting there. Mm. Up to hole four for Calvin. It's going to go. Kaiser? Ike. Get through. Where does that one end up? Oh, in the close proximity area. The Spike Kaiser isn't bad. There is a little gap there that you're kind of trying to hit. Apparently. I like it better, better than going underneath. The underneath play is so squirrely. It's just, yeah. it, it, there's a lot of luck factor played into that blind second low skipper. I love how Ricky can just go, okay, I'm going to push putt or I'm going to just it's spin phenomenal, whenever, isn't it? whenever I want. He's Nobody just else to, does it. He can adapt in, in such a creative way. And I mean, just to have the forehand, he, I mean, really the only thing we don't see from Ricky is the overhand shots. He doesn't yeah. throw a grenade, a thumber, or a tomahawk, but anything else under the sun, he can get it done. Don't need to have anything creative here for hole three. Just a blind tee shot to an elevated basket. 324 feet for most players. It's just going to be an overstable forehand, just trying to hyzer into the hillside. Don't want to hit the DGN sign there because you might roll back down the hill like we saw yesterday with... Calvin on hole eight. Oh, this is a little tight. I think that's the way you want to play it today, honestly. Be yeah, because that got of, away with it. Because of the wind, it's just keeping them straight. I it's saw a lot of right people to left. pull it left and then circles edge, cir circles edge. Let's see if. Yeah, you can see those flags. It's like a right to left tailwind. So playing it a little bit tighter today does work for the player. See, I'm worried about this one getting back. Yeah, this will stay. Yeah, the nice Great roll at the roll. end. Still not a gimme. But without that roll, he's right there at circle's edge. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's got the height working for it, but deep. And still didn't even hyzer all the way back towards mm -hmm. the basket. This is, there, is a yeah. eight to ten in difficulty right here. Backhand tourney. I just, this is just going to get pushed down. Uh, okay. It's hard to fight back with that angle yeah. against the wind. All makeable. This one would be very nice feeling, though. Call it 38 feet. Oh, come on. I hate that miss. Yeah. When most of the disc has gone over the rim and then the chain's just sort of like... Mm. And it hits the pole. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, give it to Nicely him. done. Down the hill. Slight headwind, too, coming up that... Send it in there. Yeah. It's like kind of a nervy distance sometimes with these elevated baskets, especially when there's a little breeze. Yeah, he's kind of laughing. He knows that that wasn't pretty, but it's in there. And a good birdie birdie stretch for Ricky. Scratch off that bogey on one. He, he placed it on the rim to let it fall in on purpose there. <laughs> Oh, no, don't show us. How close thing. was this? It, it hits chains first, I think, and then the back end of the disc just hits the rim and it says, nah. In the world of disc golf, we often talk about growing the sport. But what does that really mean? It means ensuring that every player has the opportunity to improve their skills, compete at a high level, and have more fun playing our sport. Having the coaching perspective of several elite level professional disc golfers is a key component of our program. 
And that's why we've brought on Holland Hamlin, one of the top athletes in the sport to be one of our coaches. Holland's unique view of the game and exceptional coaching style have already brought value and results to all of our members. Her lessons are included with over 180 on-demand video tutorials and drills available to Academy members. So join us today at the Power Disc Golf Academy and be part of the movement to grow the sport for everyone. And taking a look at hole four, a par four, 750 feet straight through the gut for most players trying to just get past this tree on the right side of your screen. That stake in the middle of the fairway is about 250 feet, but it's still blind even from the stake as you go over this hill. It runs down and to the right as you get near the green. The second shot's very tricky unless you're way out right and then you might have an open forehand, but most players are gonna have to challenge what we saw there with Calvin with the spike hyzer or the low skipper that Yuli was talking about. I like this play for Ricky though, intentionally trying to go right, but this one stays straight. I don't think he's gonna have, well, now he gets past the tree. He's gonna be fine. That was great. A lot of power there. But this is the one I wanna see get through. Yeah, if this, this hit the tree at the top of the tree yesterday. Um, is it gonna get over it? Oh boy. It's so far, it's stupid. And no any. It so far, it's literally dumb. Yeah. I don't know what he's going to have from there, but I think he should be able to scramble something. Like, yeah, you're 100% right. I'll, yeah, so, bummer. But just Bruce, distance just beats. Anthony broke my brain. Yeah, your brain's not doing the word thing very great. Mm -mm. See, it got you too, kind of. <laughs> James put a little hyzer on this. Okay, is this gonna stand up? Yes. Oh. I just kinda get smashed down. That's was, gonna be a tricky little spot. I was gonna say, hit Anthony shot so stupid. This is smart. That's the difference. This is like a smart play, throw it down James? here to the lift. Yeah, any of these guys. Okay. Kind of smart plays. Yeah. All right. His is stupid. Yeah, it's just like brainless, <laughs> like it's like the bully jock who just is like, boom, I'm strong, and then just watch how strong I am. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna take that one back, but because Anthony's a really nice guy, so I shouldn't say that. Yeah. Quit making fun of Ezra, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're all nice guys. Very nice. We got a great group of guys and out here. And this is the problem with that low shot. It's just, once it gets on the ground, it's so hard for it to put the brakes on it. You're kind of hoping in some ways that you hit Plank limbs up. as yeah. you go through it, and that takes the speed off. Can Ricky do the same shot? No. This is a little over high. He needs that Plinko. Oh, he's down the hill. And there actually is water down the hill that you can find. I don't think Ricky copper found heads. it. Copperheads. I heard copperheads. There were too. some sightings of snakes on the course. It's the time of season where the snakes start coming out. I hate the play with the overstable disc. Yeah. This I, is why. It, it might, works out. It works out, but you're rolling the dice. Yeah, I don't like that. I agree with you. Yeah, you got to get that thing as flat as you can coming down the slope on the screen. Or match the hyzer. Like, watch. Oh, that's not matching the hyzer, No, sir. that's the same thing. And he's going to get away with it for the most part. But, yeah, that's tough. It's a tough shot. Ricky's trying to find some light and just doesn't have any chance to run it. If he has any glimmer of hope, he's... Ooh, right next to that OB sticks. You see him right behind him. Yeah, he's close. Ticks, too. Ticks everywhere. I've pulled so many ticks off my body in the last couple of days. It makes me feel terrible. Mm, James, so close. A good effort. Yeah, this is not where you would like to be putting for the good stuff. Oh, high left. That is a great putt. Yeah. That's why he's on this lead card. You got to make putts like that out here. And if you can, you're going to get a lot of them. Circles edge ish. Certainly a good putt, but seeing Calvin and uh, Kevin now keeping those putts in the basket high left, that is not your typical make. And that could, well, it's. it's out yeah, of that's here. tough. And, and we got to see how he bounces back from this because he's been so good. None of, we haven't seen any rollaways. The missed putts right. just kind of flop right. there. 
He's going to be challenged with this putt right here. Sit. So now he turns a birdie into a bogey. I don't remember the last time we saw Anthony Brawl get a bogey. I'm mm, sure he had one at the last tournament. I just can't remember it. Actually, coming down the stretch, he did have some in the back nine, which is what allowed Gannon back yep. into the mix. But but he also had a slew of just good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why we consider him one of the top two players in the world right now. And that's going to put Kevin on top of the card. Gannon Burr up 40 spots. Uh, he's showing why you just mentioned his name yeah, for the just, good for the good stuff. Hole he, five, par three, 360. Crud on the right. Don't go in there. Get over this log with a little bit of hyzer or drift something from left to right into this hillside. See some people go a little too far if they don't get the height right. This is just a great par three. Really challenging. Good old fashioned par three here. I agree. I think that good par threes are the the blood, the DNA, the heart and soul of disc golf. Yeah. And we, we play so many courses that are just such a huge emphasis on par fours and fives on tour that we, we miss a lot of this stuff, I think. Yeah. Ricky overturned. He's going to be in the crud, as Paul calls it. Log. Kevin knows that that's... Log, log. Yeah. It's a Ren and Stimpy reference. Some of our viewers might get that one. Hmm. What goes downstairs, a loner in pairs, rolls over your neighbor's dog. It's great for a snack. If it's on your back, it's log, log, log. I have heard that. It's log. Uh. <laughs> it's log. <laughs> a guy in my car had literally wedged it into the middle of the log, and it was amazing. Mm. Like, just stuck it right into the side of it. Now, this isn't good, but it he, should skip and be great. Yeah, yeah. And that's what like the hillside does. It, yeah. Yeah. It, See how the hyzer is the, is, the, is the move, I think. The best play for this hole is a very touchy forehand, and the second best play that's going to be the predominant play that you see is the backhand fairway driver driven into that hillside that bounces right. The most common mistake is what you saw with James, Ricky, and Kevin, the overturn. Yep. And that log is in a fantastic place. It kind of reminds me of old hole eight at USCGC. Mm -hmm. It had those logs down the middle of the fairway. It was just a product of a hurricane that knocked some trees down. And then they just decided, hey, these are actually really good bunkers. We'll leave them here. Yeah, I remember playing it without the logs. Let's see if AB is able to dig deep here and find the putting stroke. Got closer than I thought. 27 feet. Ooh. And it's over the rim. They're not a very confident delivery, but the birdie feels good. Put, putting stroke there looked good. You know, it, it was a little low, but it, just, it looked, yeah. the speed was right. The angle was right out of the hand. The movement was right with his body. I and mean, if we're just going to pick it apart. I felt yeah. like the speed was a little bit softer, which tends to happen when you start questioning yourself. Sure. The putt speed that we've seen in the first four events, a little bit more of like, I know I'm going to make it. Just watch this. And it just has that very crispy delivery. Yeah, I think you're right. It just maybe the wind might have pushed it down a little bit. It was a good putt. Connor would like to get on the board here. A slow start one over through the first five as we get to the second or third easiest hole on the course. Actually, this is the easiest hole in the course. Hole six is a par four, 560 feet. You just got to throw a hyzer down at the bottom of the hill and then find some way to turn it around this corner here as it just wraps around the corner. Most players are going to go with the forehand skip shot. If James, James plays it perfect, he'll play it short on the left side and have a best angle for the backhand turnover. Mm, this is a big run up. Oh, he slowed it down. Yeah. I, I, <clears throat> I was waiting for him to just... The wind today made me feel like we could see somebody get so far around the corner they've got a near eagle look yeah. at it. 
I'm actually kind of surprised that we don't see AB get really aggressive and go high. Right. Like, I feel like there's so much airspace up there. Is that the fastest shot ever thrown just now? Did you see how fast that came out with a baby <laughs> stroke? Did you see that? I, that was bizarre looking. I'll, I'll watch this back tomorrow. Oh, no, yeah, I watch did. it. It okay. just came zooming. Okay. It was like in the sky so fast. See, this one's like kind of just going. Yeah, it's just normal. It's going to end up in the same near spot. Same spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's on top of Ricky's <laughs> disc. Incredible. <laughs> I and, like it. Yeah. You were right. Hug that hug that side. So yeah, he doesn't want to go deep. No. Nope. The deep side is great for a forehand because you can go low skip. But here, this gives him the angle. Now, the wind's actually tricky because it's coming off his back right shoulder. And so he's got to get really high to actually get the turn to engage. Oh my gosh. And how he's done good. A really is that. that you could give me ten shots. That's and I'm, incredible. I'm never getting closer. That's a specialist doing what yeah, they're special at. I, I'm not getting closer with a putter turnover. Oh, I don't like this. And that wind is going to keep gonna it out. It's going to push it, yeah. Yeah, it's just not going to let it get back as much as he'd like. Like, you you think going higher, it's going to pull it, but it pushes you. I think Ricky's going to learn. Ricky's going to go low skip, and that's that's the play to avoid the wind right now. And Juice, is it? Yeah, it, the low skip... You get scared about that inside stuff on the right yeah. side, but you have to challenge it. Otherwise, you're going to be outside the circle like Ricky like, is. Like, hey, what are you doing here? This is my place, kind of. Challenge, see, challenge it. You know? yeah. Oh, goodness. Just non-committed. What? That was very strange. Intimidated by the corner. I'm not getting out of here. You get out of here. <laughs> this is my spot. I've been Squatters here Squatter's rights, bro. <laughs> I've been here for three weeks, dude. Ooh, yeah. And that, very strange to see AB miss by that much. And never mind. See, there's that zoomer I was talking never about. Never mind. That's stealing the birdie back. Oh my gosh, watch this zinger. That, that putt goes in on like 50 baskets in a row at that same height if you just stacked one basket on top of it. The that'd next be, for 50 baskets deep. It's going to go on each one of them. That'd be a tall basket. I don't, no, I don't mean on top of each other. I'm saying like consecutive baskets. Like, Yeah, I get that yeah, behind it. Yeah. Think, it's kind of dumb. Ricky, good putt. Such a good putt. These are great putts. Those are not gimmies. And into the headwind, I think slightly off the right side of the pole is actually the perfect spot. So Ricky just hit it in the square of the heart of the basket. Mm -hmm. James is going to get a tap and he's going to get to even needs more though. Man, I just can't believe how zingy that was. Yeah. James on the board, even par now. And let's see if Calvin can rewrite the story from yesterday after the terrible break he got. Yes, this is perfect. I'm going to land soft and be beautiful. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh, he oh no. No. Are you kidding me, guys? Are you kidding me? Are you, you can't make this up. P please make it. I think we just showed it to... Because we're... Yeah, man. because we're sadistic. That is messed up. Power Disc Golf Academy, shame on you. Hey, man, throw it with some more touch. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Power, <laughs> Power Academy is awesome. But those buckets, man, I think people are right. we got to figure something out here. If you hit those things. Came in as the softest drive I've know, ever seen in my life. That is so messed up. Oh. I see Ezra in the mix now. Yeah, 10 under for him and for Gannon. 10 under, such a good round in this win today. Yeah, hole seven, playing a bit easier today. Left to right crosswind instead of the straight head that we had yesterday. And uh, 655, that's not the number you got to look at. It's about four something to clear the OB, and then you're just left with a touchy upshot into the green. Backhand turnover, 
just barely crest the hill enough to slam on the brakes. <laughs> the T-pad's a little awkward. You can see AB is coming at it from the side. Oh boy. Glasses go flying as the disc also goes flying. Oh buddy. All right. And that will be a jump putt from there. Um, closest person to this drive is going to be hundred short. I'm gonna. I I, I will. Can I? Can yeah. I take something? I outdrove him on this hole. You weren't on this card. I outdrove AB on this hole, and I feel like I gotta say it because I'm 38 and AB's 24. So, take that fastest throwing guy in the world. Yeah. And that's yeah. what you have to avoid. You got to miss that tree in the out of bounds. There's just no one's ever hit that tree and managed to stay in bounds. No. It, it drops everyone straight down OB. James is like, Paul, what are you talking about? I'm going to get 100 feet from this guy. Uh, no, you're not, bud. <laughs> <laughs> but he's across. He's safe. Mission accomplished off the tee. Get up. Don't want to take on those little trees. <laughs> okay. Right by James. Nice. And it'll be interesting to see how Ricky... Okay, so he's going to go as close as he can to try to go underneath this limb forehand. I don't like the putter play. I don't think this can get there, can it? Very ambitious. I mean, he, he did throw it over 300 feet yesterday on hole four and put it inside bullseye. Not but up the hill. It's minorly, not nearly as much as this. Yes, you're correct. Oh, buddy. This is a James special. He's got the touch for it. Look at this baby stroke. Whew. Puts it on hyzer like that. Sit. Slow down, though. Sit, 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 sit. At least he gives himself a chance. Yeah. If you're coming at that angle, you have to just barely get over the hill. Yep. Like, you almost want to touch grass as you're cresting the top of the hill. Run it. Did you run yours? I couldn't. I was actually in the, the mess to his right. Um, what? Just happened. Is that bad? Or is he in a circle? I think, I mean, he might be in the circle, but that disc should, has to be in bullseye. From well, that range right good there. Either. Hmm. Okay. And Sit. Ricky respects the green here on seven. Mm. Weird. So James has an opportunity to possibly get the only bird. He's in the best position. You don't want to be where AB is. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, you can boy. run this full. That was a weird duck. Um, oh, well, AB's closer than Kiefer. That's Ricky. Oh, well, yeah, closer than, yes, yes. And putted it like Ricky. All right. Oh, this ain't bad. It's not good for how close he was, Yeah, but... he, it certainly doesn't feel good. Like, he, yes, birdie achieved. The score three is what you want on seven. But we've talked about this in the past. There's like a, a, a thermometer of pressure that, that mm. oh, a player yeah, can absolutely. take. And after what he did on the last hole, a great drive turned into a sick putt. You don't want to keep doing that. You can't keep putting that on yourself, on your shoulders to, to continuously come up with a big putt. Albert, bazooka, Tam. And I know that, I know that Ezra's big guy. Yeah. Big muscles. You can see the muscles. I think Albert. He's a unit. Full-fledged <laughs> unit. Dude. Monster. This you know who guy, else? Luke who? Sampson. Yeah, he's a unit. But, hey, listen. Albert Tam lifts a lot of heavy stuff. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, he he goes to the gym and he moves stuff from one side to the other for fun. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? He's just helping people out. Like, can we get these weights over there? <laughs> yeah, no Send problem. in the yeah. unit. He's a monster. Hole eight, par three, 353 feet. Tough win today to go the right side. We might see a lot of players choose this left route. Wind pushing back, kind of a 
headwind, left to right headwind, which won't allow the hyzer to really get all the way up to the pin. Anthony gets it turned too much. Too though. much, yeah, overturned. It might hyzer in time to have a putt. No, yeah, no, goodness, no. Good luck. Well, he's got the zipper. That's a good thing about his game that we've noticed. He can zip him. You can do the zippy, zippy doo doo This the, is looking good. The timing that James has, the way that he Just, goes. Well, hold on a second, Paul. Back okay, he didn't hit it. Good. The back foot to the front foot is so crazy. Yeah, it's like watch this. Back. Doop, doop, boom. Yeah. <laughs> doop, doop. It's almost like what it's, Climo it's, used to. It's do. a dance move. You know how mm -hmm. Climo did the little rock. Yeah, uh -huh. totally. A lot of similar aspects and mm -hmm. and the footwork and the result. World champs. US you think champs. Climo would be going the right gap or would he be going left left gap? He'd be going right here with a, probably a similar shot to this, but a little more hyzer at this point. Oh, good kick. Gives him a putt. I wish Kenny hadn't suffered some of those injuries. Like, oh, the world's right. better. The disc golf world's in a better place when he's in it. Absolutely. Um, her, Get on Heiser, and it's got a chance. Yeah, ah. It just didn't quite get to that edge. Yeah, if it does, that, that could work another 15 feet. I'll say, I, I like the hole more when it forced people to go right. Like that left side stuff just kind of opened up through the years. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like the, the initial intention of the hole was to do the, that weird hyzer nose up backhand that sometimes rolls, sometimes doesn't. I think you're right. I, I did like it. Kevin Good just putt. didn't quite Good activate putt, yeah. the hyzer. Yeah. You want to start it off on that right side and just hope that it hyzers in. Ricky's struggling a little bit. Nice drive, mm -hmm. All of a sudden with the bogey and he's only one under. Yep. Oh, get wrecked. What? Did I just miss a spit out? You didn't. He missed a putt. Oh. You can't. Was it a spit out? It was. Oh, jeez. That's a delt. You missed the spit out, which is missing a miss. That's weird. So did it go in? <laughs> <laughs> no. It doesn't no. cancel? Yeah, it should, but... I'm it, glad we get to see Calvin Toe's drive because it's always spectacular. Like, the, this hole should just be renamed. This is Calvin's hole. It doesn't have a number attached to it. Oh. My. Are you kidding me right now? Goodness. No one's ever done that. He hasn't done that in practice. Oh, my goodness. That is... If, a that is not real. If that's where I lay up my second shot, too, with a That's a great one. layup, Paul. Absolutely. Great layup on your second shot to get that far. He makes it look so easy. It is not. It's all so hard. Anyone who's ever played this course who's seeing that drive right there, at, if your jaw's not dropped... You should put a freaking mark there. Your brain's not functioning properly. That's just an absolutely made-up distance There needs distance to be drive. a mark there being like, this is the best drive ever on this hole. This is what it's like to play on the Pro Tour. <laughs> I can't believe that. And he's, he has the best drive. He has the second best drive. He has a third, fourth, and fifth best drive <laughs> yeah, on the no hole. No doubt. He really does. Oh, In my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even think it was possible oh, to get that him. was gross. Oh, my God. Hole nine, par three. Who cares, Calvin? Yeah, seriously, at this point. <laughs> uh, you're going to see sidearms off the tee. Break it off the left side, hyzering heavy towards the right, meaning from bending it from left to right. With a stable disc. And James is going to have to get it even wider uh, and turn it. Uh, I like it if it doesn't get on that angle. Uh, and that's a hazard all the way. Yeah, the tough backhand turnover if you don't get the right height. Yep. I think he needs it wider if he's going with that angle and higher. It's Masters Week. Mm -hmm. Is Calvin Heimberg not the Scotty Scheffler of disc golf? I mean... I would say for sure last year he was. Yeah. Just kind of has the like keep it in the moment type of attitude. Yeah. I can Doesn't really get that. too impressed with himself, but I, he's got to be impressed with what he just did there in old 18. That's just. Ricky, great. Oh, reaction. interesting. 
He's mad. He's going to get birdies. Yeah, he doesn't know how good that ended up, I don't think, because he, he definitely got that on the ground a little too soon. But that is what we saw yesterday. He went for the double skip, almost got the double skip ace. Yep. Ah, I don't like this. But it's not going to get the bad reaction. Oh, actually, it's bullseye. What just happened? Actually, it's bullseye. Well, he threw a more overstable yep. disc. So yep. as it's getting down to the ground, it's getting flat, got the great skip. Well, that's a great perspective of how close James was to throwing a great shot. Yeah, just well, James just wrong threw disc. flippy. The wrong disc. The angle was fine as if he had just three or four more notches of stability. Seeing how many people are getting the two here on hole nine, which is former hole 17's uh, second shot on the fairway. Yeah. Makes me wish I had known how easy it was to get up and down from back there because I always tried to bite off too much off the tee, mm. which brought that OB fence into play. Mm hmm. You know, so yeah, if, yeah, I, yeah. if I had just been a better golfer and been able to plot the course better, sure. Then the easy birdie would have been I was more just, attainable. I was just forced to throw there because I couldn't throw it farther. So I was always just landing there. <laughs> well, <laughs> AB had some, he had some issues on the front though. Yeah. It wasn't perfect, but he is still tied for the lead. He's got the most holes left, and he's still the best player in the world as far as I'm concerned. Two things to go back and watch the, on this nine, which is incredible. Jomez does a great job. Go watch how fast that disc comes out of Ricky's hand, <laughs> and then go watch Calvin's drive again because that is absolutely yeah, you'll never see incredible. one incredible. Hey, you'll never see one. In, that, also, not even watch close. the putt that those guys made on that one with with ab and ricky I mean, yeah a lot the, of highlights on this round for it's sure it's fun to watch absolutely well we have got uh exactly half the number of holes left in the tournament remaining nine more here today on moving day and 18 on championship sunday thank you to the founders club not calling a playoff huh okay we're almost we're potentially halfway <laughs> through the tournament but that's it for the front nine here in round two come back for the back nine in just a moment